looking at the nature and the structure of information. In an organization, you can define information as being applied in the operational, tactical, or the strategic level of management. A triangle is used to draw this diagram to bring understanding to you for interpretation. When we say the levels of management, in every organization, organizations are divided into three levels of management. You either work at the operational level, which is the lowest level in the triangle. The middle level is called the tactical level. And the top level of the triangle is called the operational level of management. And information is used by different levels in different ways. We now look at the different ways in which we use information at each level of management. We start off with the tactical level. Sorry, the operational level. The operational level is the lowest level of the management and the lowest level in the organization. At this level, we focus on the day-to-day -day activities of the organization. What do we do on a day-to-day -day basis? Every single transaction is working now. So every ATM machine that people go into Every time you go into an ATM machine, you withdraw money or lodge money into the machine. That is an operational transaction taking place. The day-to-day -day activities. Marking of registers by your teachers in your classroom. That is at the operational level of the school. We want to know, is Judith at school? Is Akeem at school? Is Marcus here? Is Priscilla here? We need to know the ex exact students who are at school. That is at the operational level. Operational level speaks to the, the necessity. Having every aspect of information that affects the day-to-day -day activities of what we do. It is data at the operational level that is recorded and feeds into the tactical level of the organization. So based on the amount of withdrawal that is taking place in the ATM, the bank will know how soon do they have to go and replenish the cash in the ATM. So we look at the example of an ATM. Every time that they make, the money in the ATM is going down, decreasing, decreasing, decreasing. But that the tactical level, they need to know based on the every transaction you do, based on that, how soon would they need to go and put more money in the ATM? Because they will load the ATM with hundreds of thousands of dollars in it. ATMs are normally places very secure location. Remember, keep ATM easily. But how do they know when to go and put money in the ATM? It's based on the level of money counting. It keep going down. Therefore, we can assume that the faster the money is being withdrawn by people, is the quicker they'll come back and put money in that ATM. I'm quite certain you don't go to an ATM machine and find a machine out of money yes. very often, very often. The tactical level of management we are speaking more specifically about how is information being used at the middle management level to assist in decision making. How is information being used at the middle management level to assist in decision making? That is the tactical level. Tactical also speaks to your game plan. What is the game plan to operate ATM? They don't put money in the ATM early morning. They don't. Too many persons are passing and using it early morning. Lunchtime, no. They wait until about 1 2 o'clock in the day to start clearing the ATM. So that by the time work hour, traffic starts again. 
the ATM will have been inside. When you go to NCB Half a Tree, there are two machines that are there right on the corner at Half a Tree Road. They don't close both ATM at the same time to service them. At 2 30 in the afternoon, you put a sign servicing. The other machine can be used. It will take them about 15 to 20 minutes to go through the ATM machine, service the ATM machine, to take out all the lodgement envelopes out of the ATM machine, check them off against the slip of the record of the deposit in the ATM. Do a printout of the ATM withdrawals since the last time the machine was cleared and have all of this information to carry back to the bank to start processing data on the account. So with the, with the banking system, they use tactical information to know how soon they have to put in money in the ATM. Strategic level of information. Up there is now the top level of the organization. Strategic. Strategy. At this level, you are using information now to look at the overall effectiveness the overall goal that long term plan you have in your head strategic level of information is about using information to position yourself at the level you want ocean spray advertising now because they are no longer under thing we think of brand. They are not under another brand. But they are now using information to put themselves in the market at a strategic level. Everywhere where a Burger King store is, a KFC store is, that is a strategic move. Those persons don't know about Reddit's Road. There's a KFC and Reddit's Road for many, many years now. Right at Sundown Crescent. But they built a Burger King right down the bottom where Lee's is. About 400 meters away. Four bus stops. About 10 minutes walk. Plenty houses in the area. Everybody drive past the daytime and go buy KFC. And everybody eat KFC. Some person might want to have a burger or a salad instead of a KFC. That is a strategic move in information. They want to put themselves at a competitive advantage. And everybody wants fried food. But, using the same example of KFC and Burger King Reddish Road, look where Island Grill is. Right in the middle between Burger King and KFC. Island Grill is healthier. Island Grill have a drive through KFC have drive through, Burger King have drive through. But Island Grill is healthier. Look at the Bill Burger King. Near to Calabar. So the bottom leaves school they want to buy. Look at the KFC is. Right across from primary school. Them want fried chicken. Everything is about position, position, position. Branding, branding, branding. I challenge you. Go into Mega Mart. Look at how they place goods on shelf. Strategic marketing. What they do is put the better brand right near eyesight. The lower brand down on the bottom shelf. Something very expensive because of branding strategic position look at where they put all the sweetie the candy the bubble gum right at the cashier why mommy 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 want chocolate that is strategic use of information because parents come to buy with children strategic management That is use of information in a strategic way to gain your position in the market.
Mona High School has become a very famous place because of our strategic marketing of our sixth form program. Every other sixth form program has always said, listen, if you're pass math and pass English, I have five other subjects, don't apply it to it. But we said, we want to help students to become better, and we only going to get seven subjects and you only fail one or two. We will help you to do all those two subjects where you fail, you can go on sixth form and do some more work and continue, but you need to get those two subjects. That is a strategic plot. That's what we call ours a special six program. Another six form program. Other six form program don't normally allow you to do CXE courses. Do CXE courses inside of your your um your current studies. Tell Eileen and call her back. I'm in the class. Hello. All right. So we look at all of this now using an ATM. The exam is in the exam last year, the ATM. The operational level of information is the day to day transaction through the ATM. Mm -hmm. Every time you draw you the card in there and you pull out money from the ATM and put your money in the ATM deposit, that is operational level. Then sort of the pattern of you coming and going to know how much money to put in the ATM. That is the tactical level of management. To know when or frequently putting money in the ATM. Tactical. But they also put tactical to say how much money you can withdraw per day. Every ATM have a limit. Because what they do is to discourage you to draw out too much money and walk with cash. You can be R-O-B-B-E-D, robbed. NTB machine, the daily limit is $30,000. Scotia, I believe that about $15,000 or $20,000. You got some little side shop at the ATM corner of somewhere. Anybody can see you in there doing it and draw the money out. They saw the news last on the TV about them with the, with the credit card fraud. Where them find people are police copying cards and everything and duplicating your card onto some blank magnet strip and can use it. Where they put up the camera, put a camera in the machine that can watch you and see your pin. And the person outside of them can watch another camera to see what, 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 what pin what pin they put in, in it. And when they swipe a card in the machine, the machine is recording what is the password associated with that card. That is serious. At yes, at the ATM machine. That is serious. So let's think about the tactical level of information with the ATM. Trying to make sure ATMs are in the right place, that they are properly marketed. We're talking about strategic level of information. Where put ATMs? ATMs are normally placed in secured location. We normally put ATM in areas where we can trust the place we put the ATM. We put ATMs in stores. In Mega Mart is an ATM. In Sprite Mart is an ATM. In almost every supermarket in Jamaica, big ones, we put ATMs. We put ATMs at gas stations. Because people, when they come to buy food at Mega Mart, oh, say ATM, they will draw some money to, for the kids that have lunch money tomorrow. We are not going to drive to an ATM somewhere in a little lonely area close to you on your way home where you might just end up being robbed. We have to think about security. But they market the ATM to say to you, when you go in the ATM, look around and say anybody's watching you. Please check if the thing is looking out of place. If the card is too long, something wrong. The card is normally shorter. When in doubt, don't use particular ATM machine. So, with strategic level of information, we are using information to look at our position in the market. Where do you want to be? How do you want people to see us? What is our long-term dream? NCBR, BNS, or anybody, they want to become the premier bank of Jamaica. Everybody use them. NCB machines are everywhere for the NCB machine. Because NCB has the largest banking network in Jamaica. But Scotia have their machine at some strategic location. More gas stations have a Scotia machine than an NCB machine. Strategic. Because where Scotia build them bank, they build them bank in certain places. Strategic. They build their bank in particular location. Scotia Center up on, on, on Constant Spring Road, 
uptown. Those ATM can is the US currency. All right, structured information now. When it is structured, it is laid down and prescribed according to a particular situation. It's laid down and prescribed for a particular situation. If you have coal, panadol multi symptom. That is structured information. Structured information is used to solve structured decisions. If you tell anybody say I have coal, right away they give a panadol multi symptom. Is one of the proven coal medicine that we use. That's structured. We use structured information. It is laid down as prescribed by use. Structured. It is laid down and prescribed as used. Use as is. So if you are told about tablets to take, um, take some tablets, and each tablet is three hundred um milli something milligram and you are told as an adult you must take one five hundred milligram panadol now if you can't get the five hundred milligram panadol you might buy the three hundred milligram panadol end of story nothing wrong with that but the problem is you can't take two three hundred panadol you're gonna overdose by one hundred one hundred um, milligram more so what you might do is break one of them into a half. It's better you take less of the medication and take more of the medication. Your body reacts better to it that way. So as we look at information in terms of the structured nature. So when we look at the semi-structured information is when you cannot use information in its full in its fullness it is said to be semi-structured because if you have coal then the multi symptom can be used nothing wrong with that but if you have a coffin with the coal you have to add some semi-structured information what else can be used with this medication to cure the cold? A DPH elixir. It works with it works with the um the multi symptom. Information of the semi structured is not used prescribed as is. You have to use only a part of it. Unstructured information is when you have to come up with information to address a problem it is unstructured it never happened before you have to come up with some kind of information to use to solve this problem you see you can plan for structure because you get cold very often semi-structure you already experienced it some way before so you're modifying something to solve a problem yes so in unstructured information, there's no developed answers yet. But you have to pull information and try and come up with some kind of solution that can be used to address the problem. And that is why we said information sometimes is considered to be unstructured.